Yeah, watch. So this shows you right here how much tension this wire has and steel wire has a tendency where it wants to go ahead and it wants to like straighten out. If I cut a piece off here now, the wire itself wants to just straighten out. It doesn't want to be in any curls. It wants to lay like flat on the ground straight. So this is much different from aluminum. This is why the wire tension, the wire break, needs to be a little bit tight. So when you feed at high um, wire feed rates and you suddenly stop, the wire doesn't do this in your machine while you weld. Aluminum wire has a memory. If you undo the aluminum wire right here, nothing really happens. Because aluminum wire likes to stay in that same position it's in. As the aluminum wire comes off, it comes off like a corkscrew. So the aluminum wire doesn't need as much tension to hold in place, but what happens here is when you feed this through a MIG gun, you want to use at least an eight inch roll because the cast on the eight inch roll will make for a few contact points with the liner, but not too many. If you buy yourself a little gadget like this, that you slide over this here and put your little four inch roll in here. The problem with the four inch roll is it works good in a spool gun where it only needs to push, where it only needs to push four or six inches. If you do this on a regular MIG gun and you look at this, the closer you come to the end of this, the tighter the cast is and it comes off like a corkscrew and can you just imagine how many contact points this makes in an eight or nine foot long MIG gun and every contact point creates drag and rubs and, and it makes the wire feed inconsistent.